Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry. Welcome back to another episode in our Forest to Farm series here on Survival Dispatch. Today we are making one step closer towards getting water on the property. We are going to be grading. First time using the box blade. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> Don't be too hard on us. We're yeah. learning. Uh, we got the job done. <laughs> yes. We started out way easier than we needed to, but you know, that's the way Baby it goes. Steps. Yeah. You work into it and figure out what your comfort zone is. Yeah. And what we're doing is working down an embankment so they can drop a water tap for us so we can tie in and run it up to the house sites. And we got about a thousand foot of road frontage that's eventually going to be dropped to the same level roughly yeah. with the road so that we can easily mow it and not mm -hmm. have a embankment drop down off. to the ditch. You know? Yeah. So, but that'll take time oh yeah but i we, think there's some good information in this on you know using a box blade and seeing how to set it up in the different angles and whatnot yeah and possibly seeing how not to set it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah that too <laughs> definitely at the beginning yeah hope you guys enjoy this there's an embankment out here and brian will show you that in a minute and it goes all the way along the road here and uh it's quite a drop off yeah this is an old farm area old road and they just dug in and dug down into the hillside and uh so you're gonna go over there <laughs> There you go. As you guys can see. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is eventually, that pole's gotta stay, that's our power pole. And then we went underground from there. Well, uh, eventually, we're gonna have to leave, you know, some support dirt here for that thing, maybe out to here or so. And then eventually, this whole embankment all the way down the road, we're gonna clear back, just like we have here. There's a lot, you know, this field here, we're gonna probably have 50, 60 foot wide all the way down the road. Yeah. And then we're gonna take this embankment down and make a nice, slope that you'll be able to mow bush hog whatever and maintain easily and keep our fence way back we don't want to get right out on the road with it we're going to dig down a section they're going to have to bore under the road to get our water meter set and then we'll take it up the property line or i mean the right away here to near where our transformer is we're about to get started uh we're going to dig this embankment down and make the area for the water meter yeah and we don't have any teeth on that bucket i don't know how hard this ground's going to be we're going to attempt to use that box blade and yeah. just we got to use the box Working blade. Down. Come on, it's new. So if you think we're kind of stupid and don't know what we're doing, you're probably right. <laughs> this is the first time using the tractor other than yeah. driving it around the circle. Yeah. So this is our first time running a box blade out here on this tractor. First time for everything. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we've got to figure out, you know, you can adjust this top link and tilt that bucket up, put them teeth down in the ground aggressively tilt it down the teeth won't even touch the ground and raise them up you can up, raise these teeth up and down we've got three positions we can raise them up and down uh, this is a compact tractor a bigger tractor would have four positions three is all you really need on this little thing uh, so we're not 100 percent sure what we need to do to do this job we don't we don't know whether we want to tilt it down we want to tilt it if you tilt this up like this these teeth become more aggressive they're going down in the ground when you lower it if you tilt it the other way, this back blade hits the ground, and these are not going to hit the ground near as much. Or if you had them up high, they might not hit the ground at all. So uh, we're just going to have to toy around with it and see what happens, I guess. I'm thinking we want to keep it a little bit aggressive, so I, I think we can lower it down even without it running and see how it's hitting right now. We're kind of level here. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect world. So let's see what happens here. Um, actually, I can see that the... The back blade's going to hit. Those teeth are never going to catch the ground, are they? Right. So we're going to adjust the top link. Um, Got to go in. So turn it in a that direction. Depends Counterclockwise. On, counterclockwise if you're looking at it from the back. They got a little tab here. It makes it a little easier to grab. Let me know when it's looking like we're getting a little bit of aggression there. Okay. Of course, because we're backing beyond that hill, the back of the blade is going to be up in the air, so we may not need it too aggressive. I'm just not sure. We're going to have to toy with it. And That's a little above level. That'll work for starters. Yeah, and I think um, I think we'll just give that a try. We're probably going to have to drop these teeth down, but we'll just start out easy. Tractor's only got how many hours? Just a few hours on it, literally. Yeah, about five hours. Yeah, and that's mostly been driving around the neighborhood showing it off. <laughs> 
and playing in the yard. But so anyway, this is uh, gonna be a learning experience for us. Yeah, completely. And we don't want to work this thing too hard. It's new and it needs to get broke in, I guess. I don't know. I hadn't read that far into the manual yet. <laughs> so anyway, let's just give that a shot and see what it does. Alrighty. Well, if you guys can't tell, it's a little bit of change of scenery and we're a little warmer than we were. It was about 40 degrees last time and it's about 78 right now. Yeah, uh, we started, we were about to start digging, had the tractor setting over here, backed up and we're like, we forgot to call no cuts. Forgot to call no cuts. <laughs> we know that the power, the phone and cable all go overhead and we know where water's our power is. Yeah, water's street. on the other side of the street. Over we know there. where our underground power goes and we know there's no natural gas out here, but just in case, we had to call no cuts and wait a week and a half for them to get out here and get everybody to spray paint their lines. Yeah, and then we've had rain and whatnot again, so here we are. It's finally a nice warm, dry yeah. day. Beautiful out, little windy, and a lot windy actually. Yes. But we are gonna get to it and hopefully get this hillside dug down so we can get our water main in and we'll be good to go. Yes, sir. Anything else? I say uh, let's get her done. All right, let's do it. <laughs> yep. So, the work we're going to be doing with this box blade mainly is pulling dirt. We want the box level with the tractor so that we bring that down at a nice level, even slope and sl slope it up towards our fence over here. This is a fixed uh, bracket on this arm for your uh, box blade for the three point hitch. So, the distance between that pin and say the top of this bracket or this pin, however you want to look at it, pick a point and measure that point and then measure it consistently with the other side the way you did here. Basically the distance from this, this lever raises this bar up and down. This bar just floats on that pin and then this pin floats on this bar and that brings the box up and down. Uh, the hydraulics in here raises these little arms up and down and they move simultaneously and even if everything's functioning properly. So what you want to do, this one's fixed. You can't change it. You come over here and look, this one's got a turnbuckle on it. You can turn it just like this turnbuckle. You can adjust, and if you turn it, if you re, uh, turn it uh, and extend the bolts, this side of the box will drop. If you contract and close these things in, you know, screw it in tighter, then you raise that side of the box up and you angle the box the other way. We want the box level with the tractor. This side, from this pin, I'm gonna go to the top of this rounded bracket right here. That is 17, or 16 and three quarters from the top of that pin to the top of that bracket. So if this box is level, then the distance between this arm and this attachment point should be the same as the one from this arm to that attachment point. If it's not, then we gotta do some adjusting. So right there, if you can see to the top, well, it's just a little bit of an angle. It's almost 17 and a quarter, 17 and 3 sixteenths. So we have got to raise this side up to shorten the distance between that pin and the top of this bracket. So it equals that one and that should level the box. So we need to shorten this thing up. Uh, I bet I'm gonna have to turn these out of my way because I gotta make it shorter or this nut. I don't know if that's gonna be enough and this has got paint on it and it's never been turned. I bet we don't have a wrench with us, do we? Oh yeah, there's wrenches in the truck. In the truck, that's right. Let's see what that did. That might even have done it. We measured. It was 17, over 17. Yeah. 16 and three quarters over there. We needed to shorten this. Um, it was like an inch. No, it was about a half inch difference. Right? About a half inch difference. Half inch difference. So in that case, if I moved, if that nut was against there and I moved it up a quarter inch, and I turn this, that's a quarter inch here, it's also a quarter inch there, that would be a half inch. So when you make that measurement, turn that nut half of the distance you need to move it away from this, and you can turn this to it, and it should be pretty darn close. Wouldn't you think? You would think so. And we are 16 and three quarters. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna give this a shot. The box blade is set level. Uh, we've never used a box blade, so we're not exactly sure what's gonna happen here. The teeth are at their shortest point and Tines. yeah the the scarifiers are at their shortest point and Ooh, if, uh, technical technical terms there <laughs> if you guys have never used these this might be a learning experience for you if you are a seasoned box blade user go ahead and get out the popcorn because this should be entertaining and please critique us tell yeah. us what to do because 
we ain't real right. <laughs> That's it. We're going to have some fun. Let's get to it. Brian did an awesome job out here. Look at, dug this hole down. How long we been out here? I have no idea. We've been out here a while. <laughs> a few hours. hours. Yeah. Considering this is our first project with this blade, uh, basically what this is, is we wanted this low because eventually we're taking it just like this all the way down this property line, like I said earlier. And anyway, our water meter's got to go in here. We're going to have a well, but we want to have city water as well. Wash the tractor down, use it in the shop, you know, just menial stuff around the house and then we're going to have a well in addition if we ever have well problems well, at least we got city water to fall back on well guys we hope you enjoyed this you know it's a lot like the uh, forks on the tractor start off easy and work your way into it find that comfort zone yeah figure out how to use it yeah not that much to it really but no but you, there's a learning curve oh yeah and we didn't want to dig in and take way more of a bite than that tractor could handle and pop a wheelie <laughs> yeah which in hindsight you know we could have just set it really steep but we were just getting a feel for what it would do. Yeah, you know. but worked out really well. And yeah. early on, you know, we set, set that box level with the tractor. I think mm -hmm. that's really important. Yeah. And a lot of people will tilt it different ways depending on what they're trying to do, you know, but uh, 
I, I tend to like it most of the time just flat. Mm -hmm. Although we did do a ditch. We'll show that later on. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes you want a little bit of an box. angle, make a nice ditch for you if you need it to yeah. divert rainwater and whatnot. Really mm -hmm. helps out. <clears throat> but check back soon. We will finally be hooking up water once they get the water main installed and have water on the property. It'll be huge. Going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when new videos come out. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Have a good one. See you next time.